business owners than there are big business owners in this city. We are the driving force of jobs in this city. We are the ones who hire in this city. Veterans bring a special degree of leadership skills to the workplace, to the marketplace. We are diverse in communication. We are skillful in business, in aviation maintenance, vehicle maintenance, security, law enforcement, among others. We are the ones who guard you while you sleep. We're not asking for any special favors. We're not asking for any special favors from this building. All we're asking for is for an equal chance to compete in the marketplace. And when it is always bad business and a bad idea, when bad policy comes out of this building and it puts a small businessman out of business, if the outcome of the policy of a business policy puts a businessman out of business in this town, then it's a bad policy, and that needs to be changed. And that's why we are here. We're not asking for anything we did not earn, and we earned it. It is ours. We're not asking for anything. Every dime that comes out of this building was collected through revenues of taxpayers, was collected by revenues of tax that, that tax business owners. And I dare say that there is any business owner in this town who is under tax. So it is not, un, it is unconscionable, unconscionable that this administration should be the one administering cutbacks and, and to business owners of the most diverse chamber of commerce in this city. And that has to stop. And remember this, we vote. We vote. We're not horses in Central Park that you can do anything you want, send us to the Goof Flag for me. We vote. Widows of veterans vote. Orphans of veterans vote. And I'm going to make it my business to remind them every election day that we vote. I thank you very much.